Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. I don't like pickles. Oh, that's fun. He doesn't like them. Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to Amori. I'm Alfred. Um, and I got a haircut. Isn't it so cute? It's very youthful. Alright. Uh, this button. So it's been a few days, as you can see by my haircut. I also went grocery shopping and I got some tofu. So we'll see who likes tofu now. All right. So I've just woken up, I've had breakfast. Tofu, nice. I'm ready to go, you know? Ready to do some recording. Oh, we're here now. Yay, ramen noodles. Bones. Been stuck down here so long, I feel like I can barely move a muscle. What's that face for? It is not alive. <laughs> So, I was recently asked as to why I've got the stuff behind me, um, namely this. Uh, it's because there's a window right behind me, and I don't want it to blow out my, uh, camera. I also don't mind that, like, you can totally see my poster of Nero from Devil May Cry 5. Man, that's some good damage. <laughs> nice. Trick. Is it going to be like a short range teleport? Cause that's, that's fun. God knows I love that. Uh, skills. Oh, me. Um. Deals damage if it's happy, reduce speed. Oh, okay. Let's give that a shot, then. And again, that's um, another instance of Amori being like a toxic friend or someone who would, you know, trick someone. Because I'm still not sure what to think about um, Amori, much less Sunny. Oh, so Tofu just randomly spawns down here. Hell yeah. Um, did this puzzle reset because I left the area? No, because that's still pushed down. Okay. Where does this go? Oh, uh, yeah. Gotta find the exit. I said that last time, whoops. Mm hmm. <laughs> Somebody, please stop me before I kill again. Okay. 
So that'll probably unlock... I should save. So going down here will probably unlock that. As though you can see where I'm pointing. Tofu. Hell yeah. Lots of tofu. Clams. Got 42 clams total. Look there, we're finally at the exit. Woohoo, freedom at last. Let's get out of here. I never want to see another sprout mole again in my life. Sweetheart's Castle. All oh, the little flamingos. Oh, the A's a sprout mole. That's cute. Oh my god. <laughs> the dungeon! All oh, prisoners. Do you really think you escaped that easily? Back to the dungeon for you four. Darn, we were so close. Uh oh, what do we do now? Think, hero, think. Come on, how do we get out of this? I got it. <clears throat> the contrary, Sir Knight. I think you've mistaken us for someone else. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't be so quick to shut. <laughs> Where did they get all of those? We are sprout moles, indubitably. Woohoo, indeed. Yes, quite. I am also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Mm, delicious sweet... I mean tofu. Gad, my eyes must have deceived me. Deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is rather hard to see through this helmet. <laughs> Carry on, then. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart notices. Is that for quick? A smooth hero with these sprout mole masks will be able to make it out in a cinch. Do you have to keep wearing these? Mine's getting itchy. Yes, Kel. We should keep them on until we get out of here. Let's move. Oh, did I pick these up at some point? Pyong? Oh, that's fun. Wait. Interesting. Gra, Royal Kitchen. Servants' Quarters. Royal Ballroom. Sounds like a boss fight coming up. <laughs> My dear sous chefs. My Quebec can't take this anymore. It is at this unfortunate time I announce my retirement. But wait, Chef, without you, who will lead us in our task of baking a most magnificent cake for the main event? So, Chef, it's time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A bake must be cake today. Pardon me, I'm so dyslexic. <laughs> our very lives are on the line. Yes, I hear you, Chef. Uh, as the most capable one of us, I will volunteer and take charge. I won't fail you, I promise. Hey, you there. You four sous chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen, pronto. Who are you? Who am I? Good luck, you're gonna need it. I use it to sous chef mole now. Back to your stations, newbies. Don't take kindly to slackers. Take our job seriously. Sweetheart's royal guard only accepts the best of the best. Study the art of combat my entire life, says Lucius. We all work hard, maybe one day you two can become a Lucius. Therese. You seen Sir Maximus? That guy owes me clams. Oh my god. Sprout Mole gazes wistfully at Sweetheart's portrait. Painting of an obnoxious looking person.
What is it, baby? My cat's crying. He does that. Bowl of sweet strawberries. Ooh, nice. de ma chambre où j'appellerai les fils. Oh, Francois, I can't understand a single word you're saying, but you're so dreamy. <laughs> oh, God. I don't remember any French. Um... Something room, something your name. I don't know. I've forgotten all my high school French. The Duolingo owl would be disappointed in me. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's a, of course. I didn't recognize it in the cage. I thought it was a cage with like a thing on it. Clear your mind. Harmonize with the universe. Return to your natural state. Become tofu again. Do sprout moles evolve from tofu? Like a like a Pokemon? Can't you see I'm trying to meditate? You bunch are so rude. Sorry, bitch, gotta get my money. Bunch of books, pages glued shut. Damn you. A bow tie. Bed for sprout wall. Smells like dirty laundry. I'm learning so much about... Oh, wait, gotta keep the cat ears on. How else will I be a proper Twitter femboy without... Simple and elegant bow. How pleasant. What are you got on? Defense and heart. Okay, cool. Don't kid yourself, Creedon. I'm gonna be the one to marry Sweetheart. You spout delusions, twin brother. It is I who's gonna marry Sweetheart. Oh, please, this be no contest. When it comes to the two of us, I am by far the more dashing. Don't be foolish, brother. We look exactly the same. I just know Sweetheart's gonna fall for my personality. <coughs> Nonsense, brother. Time is ripe. She will fall head over here with my fashionable new mustache. Hmm. A fashionable mustache, you say? What mustache? All I see are a pair of nose hairs. Dear brother. You're really getting on my last stem, but I know how to settle this. Fellow sprout moles. Which one is... <laughs> uh, what did I tell you? I'm going to ask Sweetheart to marry me right now. I don't believe this nonsense. I adore this game. Snore. I guess it's fine that he's sleeping in here. These are the quarters of the servants. What's up, Linda? Haven't seen you around forever. How's your old man? I miss that guy. Sweetheart is so cool. I wish I could work here forever. Sweetheart is scary. I wish I could go home. Strawberry cake. That smells like garbage. Um. Jam packets. Is this like a Alice in Wonderland thing? A regular strawberry cake. Oh, I I get it. I get it. It smells like garbage because the cake is a teleport cake to the dump. Cuz this is this is the garbage dump. Though there isn't a way out of here. And then it's a normal strawberry cake here because this place smells like garbage and we're going to a place that smells like strawberries. Dang it, how did I end up in this mess? Scary looking sprout mole said Marsha. Named Marsha suddenly pulled me from a home and said I was replaced some faulty staff here. Last guy got thrown into the dungeon for treason. Turnover rate must be horrible. 
I have worked at a place with a high turnover rate, and it sucks. Dear Tyree, today I... What did I do today? G. I don't say G enough in my day today. Um... That's everything in here. Okay, cool. Let's go to the kitchen. What took you so long? Step on it, will you? I can't leave this room until I bake the best cake in existence. Ready to start baking? Follow my instruction, you'll be fine. I remember the head chef's recipe by heart. Let's make a good cake, huh? Don't be nervous. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Preheat the oven to 75 degrees. Okay, let's have Omori do it. I've been spotted. Don't tell anyone I'm here. I just like digging in the pantry. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Excellent work. The next thing to do is to mix two main ingredients into a bowl. Flowers and ping pong balls. Oh, we need to get... Oh, of course. Whole chicken? <laughs> Wait, can I put it back? Yes, okay, cool. Oh, coconut. Juice me. Oh, I can't check it right now. Garden soil. I think I know why Sweetheart doesn't like you guys' cooking. The pickles. Yeah. You're doing great. Next comes the salt and cheese. Beat those together until it's soup. I'll be honest, I don't know what he means. Sugar and strawberries? Or maybe he means butter. Whatever. Let's make some mystery food X, y'all. Now we're cooking. Oh, God. Grab the sauce and cut it into pieces. <laughs> it became two whole chickens. Magnificent. Mix those together and stick them in the microwave. It's, a it's that easy. Right. Cake batter. You put the cake batter in the oven. There's a whole chicken in there. What the heck did you put in here? Ah, uh, all done. Beautiful work, I must say. Let's have a taste. I've taken another life. Good riddance. That guy was a drag. <laughs> actually bake this cake. Okay, now we get the real ones. Okay, okay. <laughs> so it's possible to... Uh, okay, that makes sense then. Alright. So that means that it's possible to figure out what he means. Like, I figured out that he meant flower, like, by flowers and ping pong balls, he meant, oh, it was butter. But yeah, by flower and ping pong balls, he did mean, like, flour and, uh, eggs. The 
the topping. Just gotta be strawberries. Nice, nice. Sweet, now grab all your stuff, put it in the baking pan, and bake it in the oven. <laughs> I like how there's a little crunch sound indicating that Omori probably took a little snacky snoo. Well, that looks pretty good. That's how you bake a cake. That'll do it. Finally, a cake our late head chef would be proud of. May his memory live on forever. You may go now, servants. Be free. Oh, wait. Okay. Frying pan, huh? Comet hammer. Uh, oh, Hero needs it. Yeah. Less effective than a microwave. Snacks will store more heart and ba- Ooh. It also makes his stats go up. Oh my god, I've been getting these things all game and I haven't been- Does Omori have a new knife? Okay, no, that makes sense then. I had no idea. Because Amori's... Oh, Aubrey's strong, but she's not particularly... Oh, yeah, I got Juice Me as well. Amy. Heals a lot of juice, but hurts the friend. Juice Me. Alright. Stop, imposters. I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. Must be wondering how I can tell. I am above those feeble and inexperienced heralds and marshes. I am Sir Maximus. With my impressive lineage, I will be victorious and bring honor to my family. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Let's go. Is he angry? Three damage, wowzers. He's not angry. Yeah. Headbutt him. Nice. God, that damage, though. No. I cannot fail now. My son needs me. Oh, we're there's orphans tonight. <laughs> Ultimate attack. Wow. Pulled his back and he feels sad. Oh my god. Uh hmm. Oh, he's nearly dead, huh? So let's just... Let's 
Let's just clown on him. Oh, we made some orphans, y'all. All right, let's have a picnic. Sure, a lot of mount rolls here. Tried offering, and they all have a sweetheart. Tried offering one food earlier, but she called me a peon and threw her back. Smout rolls are peculiar creatures, aren't they? Oh, is there not a picnic? That's okay. Um, I think we're good. Oh, lunch time for the kitties. All right. Teresa's party rolls initiative. Oh, the little thing is a bow on her head. <laughs> it's a nine. It's anybody's game. All right, let's just see how I do with all my new attacks. Shoots a fucking arrow. Wow. I can't believe I'm using the default weapons all game. I don't even remember when or where I swapped out. Harold's party rolls initiative. It's a 10. Mm. <laughs> oh my god This track, though. Nice. Yowzas. All right. I'm gonna pause it here for a sec. I gotta go check out my cats. Okay, hey, so I was doing a little grinding and we found one of these boys. Look at him. A Lucius. How wonderful. Uh, a tag. Sorry, I think there's someone at my door. One moment. Sorry, that was at someone else's house. I had to check, though. All right. My cats are fine, by the way. I just checked on them. And when I came back, I was like, hey, I'll, I'll do some grinding. something magical I'm sure you did 
Lucius. It's headbutt. That's why we made you angry at all. Uh, can you cook for him? Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of damage. Homemade jam? That's awesome! I can revive my buds now. Uh, let's put that on right away. Especially since I don't think this is really worthwhile. And oh, uh, let's 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 put fast food and cook on. All right, I'll pause it, and then we're gonna go explore the south side. All right, we're back. Uh, before we head on, Aubrey hit seventeen and learned a thing called Mood Wrecker. Swing that doesn't miss. That's useful. All right. So yeah, Sprout Moles have been, like, openly fighting us. I... Pluto? You good fam? Yeah, there's been a- there was a- there's a couple of things that have mentioned that, like, this is not fruit punch, this is not watermelon juice. Oh god. Alright. Let's go nuts, then. Oh. Still dropped an arrow, though. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Cool. There's one down. Oh my god! Oh, everyone took six damage, even him. That's funny. Neat. Why do people do this? Why do they put so many pillows on a couch that it becomes a chair? It's a... I hate... I hate that. No, 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 this won't do at all. You and Center Life, you call that singing? My cousin's plastic flamingo sings better than you. Don't think I can't see in the back row dozing off during the chorus. Pull yourselves together or sweetheart will have us thrown in the dungeon. Ah, these problems have run into some trouble. I wonder if we can help. Hey guys, y'all need a hand? We're professional helpers here, at your service. Thank goodness the professionals have arrived. We must have the choir ready before Sweetheart's main event, but there isn't enough time. These Prout Moles become very sleepy when listening to music. As you can imagine, the choir keeps putting itself to sleep. And I'm going to turn it back down. Not that loud, though. May have to resort to alternative methods to keep them awake. I see. Not to fear, dear fellow Sprout Mole. I know exactly what you're talking about. You, you do? Thank goodness we're saved. I should have expected as much from professionals. I'll handle this good sir, you can trust me. Let's take a bite of this cake. By the ocean. Oh, I know I know where that'll take us. It'll be the the Alright. I didn't know where it would take us. Um, wow. <laughs> That's the sound a drum makes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna... 
A music machine. Feels so clean. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry because of this game. Fries! Nice, that's a good item. Never mind. Uh, I'll probably be fine. Gee, I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Alright. Speak it's okay. Oh, tag. Yeah, right, right, right. Let's go. Mr. Virtuoso Mole, sir, I'm all ready to go. Thank you, gracious professional. We're in your debt. Yes, 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 splendid work. With your help, the event will be gorgeous. I wonder if we can do better. Do you want to try again? Whip us into shape. One last shot. All right. This is awesome. The little Z is so small. It's kind of hard to see, but that's okay. This is a silly mini game. Try to make do with what I have. All right, go team. <laughs> well, that's at least a brass instrument, that last one. You know, they're close. Uh, I want to dance, but no one will be my partner. I won't disappoint you. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, they're on the little chairs. If only Basil were here. So much fun. Oh, what is this feeling? My heart's racing. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, if you like new. Yeah, we're all topped off. Radical. I don't know what I've been told. Sweetheart's love is good as gold. Oh, well. We'll go out this door because we win in the other one. Fight me. Nice. Love when a plan comes together. Nice. Hell yeah. A hero. Oh, 
Oh, fuck, I should have done uh, Omori. Because Aubrey, when, when she looks at Omori, gets another attack, I think. Oh, well. I was about to be like, this guy's toast anyway. Yo, he was not. He got one He got one good hit in, though. Could have ended that battle earlier. Omori is level 18. Hell yeah. Um, let's take a look at our snacks then. Let me turn this down. Hold on, moi. Excuse me, sir. Wait, hold on. Does this go anywhere? Got it now. This is a really good game, y'all. Even if you don't intend to play it, you should buy it. <laughs> Look at that. That was clean as fuck. Nice. Now Cal's 18. Level 18. He's still but a baby. Yeah, so we got these big old blood fountains. Will you fight me, sir? Thank you. Wow. The attack Aubrey gets off because of that is kind of astounding. So I should definitely keep an eye on that attack. Aubrey's level 18. Well, that means that hero will level up next time. Throw one clam to the fountain. In a lot of these, huh? See, that's just the same attack again. Which isn't bad, necessarily. But Aubrey gets a massive uh, damage boost. I would love to be able to end battles in less turns. All right. Nachos. Nice. Battle me, sir. Just you, huh? Pity. Oh, he's sad. So getting a lot more information on the crush that Aubrey has on Omori and or Sunny. Um, Harold just a helmet. That's sad, bro. Certainly puts a lot of interesting light into Aubrey's depression in the real world. Wait, what is this? Because my assumption is Mari died. Rah. Royal Chambers, Royal Gallery, Royal Library. Cool. 
Mori died. Oh boy. It is not Poggies, good sir. Pardon me? Uh, you're not allowed in here unless you're a beautiful suitor handpicked by Sweetheart. Or you're Castella. Well, I am. Those eyes, bro. Nope. Okay, we're not doing that yet. Let's go back to the foyer. What about this time, guys? Feel like rolling a one? You attack Harold. Rebound gets better and better the more guys there are. There's a lot of guys. Nice. That was that's a good attack, bro. There's one down. Double tap him. Get that extra damage. Um so Persona is one of the more important um, RPGs, particularly JRPGs, I think. That was a whoops. Oh, well. Still dead. Alright, bread slice, I tried using it, but... Deals damage to a foe, Omori and the foe become sad, which means that we can follow up with Stab afterwards. Interesting. So is that Omori reminding himself that, um, Mari's dead? Or I guess Sunny, even. Um... Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, um, in Persona, well, properly the franchise is Shin Megami Tensei, but Shin Megami Tensei 4 came out almost 10 years ago. And, uh... Oh, being sad makes you slower, right? Oofa doofa, that's a big one. Yeah, Shin Megami Tensei 4 came out almost 10 years ago. Um... We haven't had a Shin Megami Tensei spinoff besides Persona in 10 years. Shin Megami Tensei is not popping off by any means. Let me through, you don't know how long I've been waiting to see Sweetheart's latest work. Please let me in. I'll promise I'll write you a good review. Get back to your stations, you two. You know guests take priority. I shall not pass. Royal Gallery. This month's feature is... Oh, this is sweetheart. Hey, right, stop it. You weren't helping at all. We we're supposed to have heralds guarding the entrance to the show, but they got held up in the ballroom in the library. What's going on must be quite the event if it's more important than Sweetheart's latest showcase. Welcome to the Royal Gallery. Copper Rancher Tofu! Okay. Crystallized tears of Sweetheart's enemies. Anyway. She can sing, paint, dance, and even make movies. I just wish she would notice me, Senpai. 
Hey man, you okay? You got no color in your face. Is that meant to be a line about the masks or about Omori being the main character? What a fantastic show. Well worth the trip from Orange Oasis. Laura Gallery. Galleries are all about showing off cool stuff. They should be showing me off. I'm cool stuff too. Basket case. On the way here, I stepped on a spammel's foot. So she called me a miserable peon to slap me silly. I must have hurt her fur really bad. Proud. I'm moved beyond this work. I'm beyond moved by this work. The unabashed display of the artist's immense ego is breathtaking. Not quite a compliment. Amelia. It's quite the showroom. It's quite strange. I don't remember this castle being here before. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oop, tag in. Anyway, Persona uses... Well, all of Shin Megami Tensei uses... Uh, eight keys left. Youngin... All right, abort that for a second. Um, one of the most iconic scenes from Silent Hill 2, one of the most iconic video games of all time, is a scene where James reaches his arm into a mysterious just hole in a wall somewhere. Wow. Top to bottom. Creation of Sweetheart. Imagine that's here. Sweet Harnica. The birth of Sweetheart. Oh, I see. Top to bottom, A Sunday with Sweetheart. Oh, that's the, um, I think that's the famous pointillism painting. Sweetheart Night, Starry Night, Mona Sweetheart, Scream Heart. Oh, the scream. That's George Washington. Sweetheart with a heart earring. Girl with heart earring. Crossing Delaware. Eating a burrito. Oh my god, it's Kronos eating his son! Hold on, let me... Alright, I think I've got it. Hold on, it's... Yep, there it is. It's this extremely gnarly image. Kronos, Saturn of Greek mythology. Um, well, Kronos of Greek, Saturn of Roman, is well known for eating his children. Um, and his firstborn son, Hades, was the first to be eaten. And so someone named Francisco Goya painted this fucking gnarly image of Saturn eating the child. We just put that there, huh? So yeah, that <laughs> sweetheart eating a burrito is Kronos devouring his son. Uh, and then the swing, sweet time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Toilet ramen. Behold, isn't that the finest piece of art you've ever laid your eyes on? Don't one thought Dolan understood art. But after coming here, Dolan is starting to second guess himself. No ho ho! Showing his magnifique. All right, anyway, there's a really cool piece of Silent Hill 2. Gluten, these paintings have awakened something in me. I hope it's not permanent. Interesting, okay. Um, in Silent Hill 2, there's a very, very iconic part wherein James reaches his arm into just a mysterious hole in a wall and reacts strangely as though something grabs him. He reacts strangely as though something grabs him and the controller vibrates very, very sharply. Um, and James yanks his arm out and looks at it. Uh, and then he slowly returns it and is able to retrieve what he wants from the hole. Uh, it's a fucking weird scene and it's really creepy and scary for almost no reason. And that, I assume, is a reference to that. of reaching your arm into a hole and then something grabs you. Wowzers! That double tap is really good. That's that's something. 
Cal's level 19. Nice. Anyway. Um, Shin Megami Tensei is one of the oldest JRPG franchises ever. I think it actually predates Final Fantasy. 10 and 13. Give you juice, juice and heart. All right. Harold is already sad. That was stupid of me. I couldn't tell that he was already sad. Apologies. Something magical. I don't know what. Anywho, Persona. Um, part of the Shin Megami Tensei series, Shin Megami Tensei being a really old JRPG franchise, a lot of important things made in that, a lot of cool things. Um, for example, uh, SMT3, I want to say, has something called the press turn system, and Persona has the one more. Uh, which I imagine is what the little energy system is based off of. Royal Library. No reading without permission. Mm hmm. Wow. The pixel art is fantastic here. I must say. How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest. Not strawberry syrup. Bunch of books. All glued shut. It's been a while since I've seen you four. Up to no good again, I assume. Have you learned your lunches not to venturing out of the tunnels? Next time you won't be so lucky. I don't know what I've been told. Oh, you again. Oh, there's a sparkly up there. Damn. Oh, they're made of sprout moles. Of course, we skinned them. That's how we got their face faces. Persona uses a lot of Jungian psychology, the works of Carl Jung, and or Jungian, if you prefer. I damn well don't, because I'm pretty sure that, you know, can't leave money. Look at the little ears, the little ears. <laughs> How pink, Mole? Well, anyway, they have the idea of, like, I don't know, oh, you yeah. Question for you, do you think ghosts are considered a gas? It's no time to admit entry to all these unruly guests. Just shows to show we must, mustn't ever underestimate the popularity of sweetheart. Servants with ugly faces. Strict dress code. Uh, simple chart even a non sprawl could understand. Mm-hmm. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Follow me as your presence is urgently required. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get a long one, aren't we? Oh, young upstanding gentleman. 
All right, so let's do this puzzle. I've been trying to get this fucking idea out for hours. Gotta make an exception. Must give them peace of my mind. You know I picked the wrong tie. <laughs> oh, he knows he's got. Of course it is. Claws of the land are cruel. Train, dude. <laughs> you have to stand another line, but this one moves. I have to explain what's going on. Not gonna happen. This is big boys to Alpha Three. Jig is up. Port mission. Psst. I just walk through here? Nope, too easy. Hut, hut, hut. Anyway, Carl Jung discusses the idea of the persona and the shadow. The idea of yourself that is at the forefront of your mind and the idea of yourself that is at the back of your mind. Uh, and in persona, those become boss fights and enemies that you battle with. Naturally, it's a JRPG. I just wanted to see my only son. <laughs> yeah, we got a party. No added in you. Now we can get the, rid of these unpinkish guests. Guards, score these sprouts to the dungeon. That takes care of that. I'll never see the last day again. Cool. But now we can get these. Book. Oh, we can bring it to that guy who wanted a book. Interesting book. It's interesting. Let's see about this, huh? It smells like a beet. In Persona, um... Hmm. The Persona is a big, powerful, mask demon thing that helps you. And the Shadow is your evil self. But not exactly evil, more just the parts of you that you'd rather, you know, not talk about. Like how you're concerned with your own masculinity. Or femininity. Or the fact that you might have gotten your friend killed. Or that you, uh, aren't, like, a good friend. Or that your parents put too much on you. Or that you have no personality of your own. Anyway, the idea I've been trying to get out for hours now. What if Omori is Sunny's shadow? Yeah, what if he's this, like, dark thing that resides within Sunny's mind? Created because... Of... You know, the... Bad experiences he had with... Uh, Mari's death. And then this dreamland contains all these, like, idealized versions of his friends, like... Aubrey's willing to keep more of her distance from him. Um, Kel and Aubrey don't like hate each other they just like you know they just bully each other a little bit nice go team nice uh, let's do a little patch up actually yeah hero
Just a little one. Wow, this place. Teen crumpets. Oh, wonderful. Who are you? One popcorn? It's 80 clams. Yeah, I would like some popcorn. I'll be here a little. Alright, I bought myself up to 15 popcorns. Do you want to watch a movie with your friends? Sure I do. But anyway, yes. My theory is that Omori is essentially... This is my prop knife, by the way. Just fiddling with it. Oh, this is fun. This is cute. I like it. Very MST3K with their, their heads all in front of the, the thing. That's all it is. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm also still running with the theory that the final boss of either the game or the good ending of this game. And I do now know that there is a good ending. Someone told me that there are multiple endings to this game. Sweetheart, you will be mine. Shh, I'm not really here. You didn't see anything. Okay. As a reputable movie critic, I believe that all of Sweetheart's works are beyond what our feeble minds can comprehend. I love Sweetheart so much, I can't remember a time before. Seriously, I can't. Jesus. Perfect in any way, I would do anything for her. The only one that understands me. Let's watch another one, just to see. Because if it's the same one, then I can freely go on about my day. But yes, um, those are my theories. Tofu. Family tofus. Homegrown. Oh, the little sprout mosquito. girl. Sweeto approved, guarantee. Wow, cool. Oh my god, is that Sweetheart? Wait, hold on. It can't be. It must just be a cosplayer. Oh god! I bring Sweetheart with me wherever I go. Say hello, Sweetheart. It's my favorite movie. Now, I like to think of myself as a pretty average guy. And I've got to say... I've watched every episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts at least six times. I'm a pretty average guy, and I've got to say, seeing a sex doll is still a very uncomfortable, scary thing to happen to me. Oh, it's the Grimch! <laughs> I love how shitty it is. So good. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, there's only two humans in this kingdom. No humans here, though. Only two humans. The popcorn girl and the lady who, like, ran in and stole the, like, monarchy. Oh, God. Are they having the memorials for the, the elder mole or whatever he was called? Not just because we killed him, but maybe his replacement was killed by Sweetheart. Or did we kill him? It's been so long. Crap. All right. Sure, he skulls. I'll be a poopy head. <laughs> Uh, that's, that makes me chucks. That makes me chuckies. Mm -hmm. Lucius is too sad to properly cast a spell. Oh my god. This damage, though. Chaboodles. Hell yeah. I'm going to go back and um, save and then cut the episode. Wow, a lot of XP.
Hmm. Another boss fight, of course. Sir Maximus the Second. I know what you are, and you are not Sprout Moles. You must be wondering how I'm able to tell. I'm the son of the fabled warrior of a legend, Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father, but I'm stronger than he. With my impressive lineage, my father by my side, I will be victorious. <laughs> Wait, he's angry, right? So we can mock him. Nice. Wow! Oh, but he's not angry, though. He's just red. Right, look at Kel to boost the anger. To boost the attack damage. And then we'll get it going. He remembered his father's dying words. And he feels sad. Well, now we don't even need to do that. Or wait, hold on. What Omori is sad. Well, let's, let's make him extra sad, huh? Can't get sadder, and Omori is now sad. Perfect. Hell yeah. Not let my father's death be in vain. Did nothing. Yeah, get him. Get him. Just gonna. Eh. Oh god. <gasps> the ghost! His father's ultimate attack! Is a dull attack. And he spins quickly. Wowzers. Uh, Aubrey. You need to survive. Let's go, Aubrey. Nice. Hell yeah. Father, forgive me. I'm sorry I failed you. Alright, um... Ah, oh, jeez, look at the size of this crowd. We'll never go through at this rate. Let's look around for another exit. Maybe they'll die down eventually. We should check back here after we've defeated the boss. He said pointedly. Oh god. Kel needs to survive. Oh god. Oh god damn, that's good. Tasty. Let's eat some popcorn, huh? Get him! Get him! Oh, wow. Good job, all. Don't worry. I'm always level 20, and he learned Sean and Megaphone. <laughs> uh, it's cute. It's like it. I like it. Let's take a look here. Shun. If they're sad, reduce... That's that's cool. I like that. Megaphone. Makes all friends angry. Interesting. 
but it's nine times the cost of making one friend angry. All right. Great. Um, I'm going to cut the episode here as soon as we get back to our good friend Mari. Um, but this has been Omori, I believe part nine. I'll see you guys next time for more of it. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. Um, I imagine next time we're going to have a boss fight and we're going to go back to white space. So I'm going to grind up for that. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>